Hello there, internet version. Boo! Here with a spooky episode of Splatoon 2. Are you scared yet? Are you scared of my terrible, awkward, painfully forced introduction? You can already tell what's happening because there's spoilers in the fucking background. Yeah, hi, I see you taking photos and waving and everything. I mean, the title and the thumbnail of the episode to Splat- Welcome to Splatterween! Welcome to the Splatfest announcement for Splatterween and then later in the video the actual Splatterween event which is like a week and a half after I'm recording this. Because there's a new Splatfest! The Splatfest! And it's the Halloween one! It's a special 48 hour global Splatfest for Splatterween! Which considering last year we just had like normal Splatfest for Halloween and they were like region independent. I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Halloween out of all things is getting a worldwide 48 hour one. I don't even know if we've had a 48 hour Splatfest for the um this game. Even Squid versus Ink um Squid versus Octopus. I even think that in this game was only 24 hours. It might have been 48 and I just wasn't here for any of it. I'm not even sure. Splatfest theme is the big theme reveal. Trick versus treat. I'm gonna have so much time to do this. Hell yeah. Happy Splatterween! It's a worldwide Halloween Splatfest! In this corner, the spirit of mischief and lighthearted vandalism. Team Trick! Lighthearted. Fuck you. Uh, versus the spirit of partying and eating copious amounts of candy. Team Treat! Uh, hey Marina. What is it, Pat? Boo! <laughs> but I gotcha! The best part of Halloween is dressing up however you want and scaring people. Like last year, I dressed up as a mummified vampire. Hey, I referenced last year's one. I thought you dressed up as a roll of toilet paper. That is, that is mean, Marina. That is mean. Hey, speaking of toilet paper, let's go TP Shelton's house after work. <laughs> Chill out, Pearl. It's not even Halloween yet. It's not even Halloween when this event takes place. It takes place, like, over a week before Halloween does. And besides, I'm not really into playing tricks. I'd rather get together with friends and gorge myself on sweet treats. Please don't tell me you still go trick-or-treating, Marina. The name of the Splatfest is trick-or-treat, Pearl. Come on. <laughs> don't judge, Pearl. Jeez. Seriously? You are a grown woman. The house down the street gives out king size candy bars. Free chocolate, Pearl. Free ch- uh, I- Fair enough. <laughs> By the way, did you hear that this Splatfest is 48 hours long? And I heard they're going to decorate the square and give out gear. <gasps> Gasp. It's time to decide. Are you team trick or team treat? Head over and pick a side. And then there's all the other stuff that's happening with um all of the battle stages and everything. Knock on- no Stop throwing splat bombs over the walls. You're just giving people ideas of how to play stages now by telling people to throw splat bombs over walls. Come on. Actually, how would splat zones? I'm curious how splat zones works on um that stage. Not enough to do it right now, but hey. But every time the ship leaves ports, there are some sad goodbyes. I'm pretty sure the ship's been decommissioned. That's why we play games on it. Because no one uses it. Although I'm pretty sure people still use the Gobi Arena and the Shellendorf Institute, so I don't know about that. I went digging in my backyard today and found some old bones. Human bones, huh? Yeah, those things are everywhere. <laughs> uh. Uh. Especially now that it's been confirmed that Splatoon is literally our future and it's almost unavoidable unless there's giant massive worldwide change almost instantly. So you know, the f the world of Splatoon is our future. Oh man, we're gonna leave the... H who wants to leave fossils that are just fucking? Cause that's my plan. Yo! We got a bunch of stuff for this to dress up as with hats if you go to the news update and do stuff. We got the Kionchi hat. We got the little devil horns. We got the hockey mask that wants us to serial kill a thing. And we got the ang anglerfish mask. <laughs> The anglerfish mask is weird. I cannot read that, but I appreciate how well written it is in this. Boo! Ah! Oh, it's getting right away. Okay. 
Okay, let's go and change our things. Also, I'm using the Joy-Cons because I'm not actually playing right now. So, uh, if the camera's weird, it's weird. Oh, also, in between fucking video, a total side thing. Look what I got! I finally got my, um... Power thing maxed out on my fucking Dark Bomber jacket for special power. So this set's actually finished for the end zap. So I will be doing a ranked video at some point of testing out this kit. Because A, it's finally fucking finished. About goddamn time, but it is finally freaking finished. It's finally done. It's finally done. This took forever and I managed to... I didn't even, I didn't even roll two pow, special powers up for it. I just got to the point where I re-rolled it so much that I got 50 extra um, chunks. So I just paid for the last two in chunks because fuck. Um, oh, we're gonna pick, a, actually, before, okay, before we change our clothes, let's pick a side and wear our whole outfit all together. That would make more sense. That would make more sense. Spoopy! All, all the people in, in their things. We're Team Trick. We're obviously Team Trick. Destroying shit with vandalism and scaring people. Fuck yeah, we're Team Trick. I mean, the partying part of treat of treat is cool, but candy, and I'm not super into candy. Uh, protect your teammate with the power clamp. Help them for the love of God. <laughs> Booyah! That's pretty good. Booyah! Fuck! Ah, oh, it's pretty good. All right, let's let's change into our outfit then. That I'm gonna take off like once I stop playing outside of this. But fuck yeah, little devil horns. Cause all the other like like that looks bizarre. That looks that one, like, but that looks cool. But it's serial killer esque. This looks just bizarre because it doesn't have the rest of the body for it. And I'm sure there's like an actual point to this hat, but I don't know it because I don't know Japanese culture enough. It just seems like there's a giant thing that's covering your face, so I don't understand this hat because I don't understand what it represents in Japan. I know it has like the little blush marks and the ponytail thing there, but I don't know what it's meant. Is it meant to be a spirit thing? Because it's just covering your face. How would you see in battle with this? Confuses me. But Team Devil Horns and uh, Team Trick thing there. Fuck yeah. And uh, what's. What are some scary shoes? Socks with sandals. Ooh, very scary. <laughs> um, I don't think I. Oh, spider. Uh, no, spider webs. Spider webs on your shoes. That's, that, that's some scary shit there. And then. No, don't change that over. I keep accidentally doing that. And. Uh, there we go! Now we're scary. See how scary I am? Bah! And also, being on Team Trick will make the Devil Horns look the closest they can to actual Devil Horns, because they'll be orange. Too bad the Devil Horns weren't available during the Mayo and Ketchup Sweatfest, where they can actually be red. But, uh, well. Boo! I'm scary. Boo! Look how scary I am. But of course we're gonna be, of course we're gonna wear the devil horns. We're team little devils. Of course we are. We've gotta be team little devils. So yeah, I want candy, bubblegum, and taffy. Uh, but but diabetes though. But diabetes I can't tell what is happening there, but it is horrifying. Extra thick though, you you did the spoons for the other splatfest, that's cool. Focus on the eggs closest to the basket. You'd be surprised how many people don't that. Devil girl! Bang bang bang, pull my devil trigger. Fuck yeah. Oh man. All of the Clover Platinum games. When she chooses Team Trick. Is that... That's, that's a very old meme. Bah! See, Devils! Fuck yeah, Devils. Bang, 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 Devil Trigger. This hat is stupid. I love it. Why does it cover the face? I don't I don't get it. Cleverly disguised as a Salmonid. Is that what that hat's... I mean, it, it's an Anglerfish, but I can understand that... Yeah, kind of like a Salmonid. That's just a cool picture of Callie, but nothing to do with the thing. Oct 8 is my birthday. Hell yeah. I mean, it's past that in in, in my time now because Australia. I I'm back, witches. Yeah. Rah. Scary. Scary. I, I need the rest of the scary outfit. I mean, we're just going to be wearing a splat fish shirt, so it's not like the most scary thing. But ah, well. Kitty Cal already touched that doorknob. <laughs> okay. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's a bit of a stretch for the reference, but it's pretty fucking strong. It's pretty fucking strong. Makes up for the one reference that I could have done for that um, in Ultra Dispergos. Why must glitter, <laughs> glitter be so hard to get off? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, I, I gotta admit though, that um... That hairstyle actually super works better for the um... Devil Hordes compared to my hair outfit. Uh, that looks more devil like th th than this. But I'm not gonna switch to an inkling because fuck it, I gotta be an octoling now. 
Even if the hairstyle make more, make, make more sense. I can't fucking talk. I can't to when it's the splat fest. Even though there might be a video between now and then because of the ranked thing. And it's like two weeks away from that. Maybe I'll get around to that. Maybe I won't. Who knows? I mean, you, depending on what order you're watching these videos in, I guess. So, stick around for one of those. Boys and girls of every age, wouldn't you like to hear a song I ever use? Yo, they actually changed the fucking logo for this. Oh my god, I'm... Oh, that, oh that's so fucking good. Just fucking... The whole Inkopolis Square is redone. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at their outfits. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is the best. Holy shit. Shit! 48 hour trick versus tre treat Splatterween celebration. Fuck yes! Oh my god, they- oh my god. I, so I've mentioned this like a bunch before about how I like how they make Splatfest feel like special occasions with the music and the new nighttime and the new lighting and the new music and everything like that and how there's all the people there and the lights everywhere for that and how it feels like a fucking party. It feels special. Hell yeah, they're fucking upping the ante on this. They've redecorated the place and changed the damn logo. Oh, I'm so excited. Something magical about the campground at night. Fire glowing, ch crickets chirping, faces splatting. Yo, Shifty Station. Very curious what Shifty Station's gonna be like for this. Salmon Run, that thing I've completely and utterly ignored at this point of the game because I have so many tickets that I don't need anymore and I've missed like 10 pieces of gear so it doesn't even matter. Fuck yes. Oh my god. The fact that they've changed their... Well, they haven't changed their outfits, but like, they've coloured it... Because normally it's just the edges that are tinted, but like, they've actually... Like, like look at fucking Pearl. Like, the black and the orange everywhere. And then Marina's got her white instead of the black. Like, they've changed the colours between them. Oh, this is so fucking good. Oh, this is so fucking good. Okay, okay. Well, we're just gonna immediately go into here. Seeing how the base of the shirt is... Because when I first saw the base of the shirt being black instead of orange, I'm just like, that's gonna be a bit weird. But no, if the top of us is gonna be orange and black, then we're totally got the midnight fucking colors going. So this actually looks really goddamn good. All right, so we're gonna rock this. Um, I can't show off what I've been working on, but basically I finished off that... Um, What's it called? Dark Bomber Jack, you can actually see how it's got the full Splatfest, uh, Splatfest power. Um, special power. I've done that, so I've been working on a new set, and the new set that I'm working on is just gonna be the stock standard thing that I can always use and mix and match the pieces with everything. Cause I've got my fake contacts, uh, just cause for the Octoling, there's not many hair pieces I actually like. But there's some, I mean, that, that's always been a thing with Splatoon for me. I've, there's been a lot of the headpieces that I'm not a fan of usually because they're just so big and bulky. It's the same with a lot of the shoes, honestly. So, fuck it, fake contacts, because just this hair is good enough and looks really good. With special charge up, we've got our black inky rider, that leather, the black leather jacket that's amazing that um, I wore for my cosplay. That's just got full sub saver now. I was going to use that for a um, splash matic set, but fuck it, I've kind of got it just already set up now with that. Um, so fuck it, and, and, and sub saver works for either of the splash max I've got anyway. What we're working on, um, I had to buy another pair of punk blacks. I've been very indecisive of what I've been choosing for the punk blacks. I've now decided it's going to be ink saver for the main. So it's now ink saver main, ink saver sub, and special charge up is like my default thing that I can mix to anything. Uh, had to rebuy it off another person to give it, um, this, because before I had epic ink recovery. So we're working on this. I believe I've still got my drink up for it. Um, I also, hey, they finally gave me the online clothing with the little switch online thing. It's dumb because the online system is just, hey, it's like slightly worse now. Uh, so it's not really that great, but, eh, fuck it. We're gonna go to this, because I want to use more Booyah Bomb. <laughs> I want to use more Booyah Bomb. I enjoy the fucking Booyah Bomb. I'm not gonna use this a lot. I'm gonna be playing a lot of this, though. Um, for Splatfest. Because fuck yeah, Splatfest, and it's Halloween. Team Trick, too sweet to be beat. Okay, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Also, you're level 89 prestige. Holy fucking shit. Hell yeah. Oh, uh, is even the purple's got purple and black? Oh, they're both fucking great colors. Communication errors occurred. Merry Christmas. That is a spooky uwu. What do we got? Whoa! <laughs> oh 
Oh my god, that, okay, team trick because my life is just one giant prank. <gasps> Boo! Yeah, I, uh, even the name's good. Splat Buds! Man, fashion in this game is so good. Okay, we're, we're, we've got a bunch on the walls, but let's let's read all the people in the plaza because a bunch on the walls are probably that as well. Yo, look at their little hats! Oh my god, do people in the shops have things on as well? You don't, no. Okay, but that's fine. Team Treat, Team Knife. They actually have just a fucking murderer mask in this game now. It's fucking weird. Uh, trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. Ah, 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 splat fest things. Seriously, I have just playing it, paying you back for last year. Go treat! Let's get this bread. Like, how many breads you've eaten? I don't know. More furs, that. We got. You're probably someone I was playing with last. A bunch of you like that. Boo! And it's sans. Because everything sans. Look at it! Look at it! It's actually decked Oh my god! god. Ah. Let's go trick up. Uh, let's scare and prank our way to victory. Also, I love money. This, the money one was ages ago. It was ages ago. Does Spike have anything? Yeah, Spike's got a little hat on. Oh, that's merch. Sorry. Spike's the one in the building there. We got tape. What, what was Show that something again. Tape tree! Yeah! Uh, just because it looks good. <laughs> All the stickers here. Oh, Nice! <laughs> Spike's not wearing it, but he's got it just resting down there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Any secrets over here? Any new things here? It'd be very out of the way, so I, I'm not, I, I wouldn't be shocked if there's not there. Um, can't see the person in there. They... Probably don't have it because that thing doesn't even affect Splatfest because it's all the local shit. I gotta go inside and check though. I have to check. Yo, is that a new sticker there? Or has that always been there? It looks like a sticker's been put over there. Because it's like stitched together and it's gone crossbows. So, oh my god. Oh my god. People have also hacked the game files and found that there's four special Splatfests um, that are in the game data. Oh, they don't have anything unique. Damn. Oh. Oh. Ah, oh. ah, oh, well, that I can understand not doing because it's not even part of the rest of it. So that's fair. But yeah, they found data in the game for four more uh, special, uh, four in total special splat fests. They don't know what they are. They just have initials for them. Oh, so I'm gonna guess there's gonna be more that are gonna do this crazy shit. Oh, that's so good. Trick tree, ghosts, it, um, squids, tetrip man. Oh, the drawing in this game is so good. It's so good. Oh man. Seriously, this is one of my favorite, like, things that they've done for Splatoon, and they just keep it for Splatoon. Like, how just the Miiverse thing became such an iconic part of this game, that they kept it going into this game even when Miiverse was shut down. Yeah. Team Tricks, I'm too important to afford food. Candy! Uh, God, so good. So good! So good! So, look, look at this shit! Look at all the slime everywhere! And all the, like, little stingrays that are there! And the starfish. Oh my god, this is fucking great. This is so good. This is so good. Alright. Oh, you were dancing. <laughs> Alright. Let us go into here and let us play some damn Splat first, because I've already spent like 10 minutes just marveling at how cool all that looked, because it, it looks fucking cool. Oh, the news flash stopped. Have they stopped the beep, the beeping to let you know that people want something? Because I really hope that's gone. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you! It like disconnected after the match ended. It, it was fucking crashed on your end. Like the time ran out and then it was just like, it froze for like a minute. Fuck you, that was you. Asshole. The news flash is there and it's not beeping. They may have gotten rid of it, finally. Ah, oh, it was so frustrating. Like, just how they had the concert beeping for the news flash last time, and it says, like, and now it seems to be gone. So, yay! Yay! Okay, I've still got 14 on the Ink Saver main drink. I thought I had a lot less than that. I, I don't even have 30 chunks for it. Is it bit of an issue? So, even if I do get two, I'll still need to grind it out on other stuff just to get more. But at this point, I'm just gonna use this drink, and if I get it, I do, if I don't, well... Like, if the next one that ticks over isn't it, because I'll still have, hopefully, like, 10 or so left, I'll use 20k and just say, fuck it, and scrub it. 
so I can start again from the beginning of the drink. And then if it doesn't go then, because I don't think I have any more Ink Saver main drinks. I may have one more. But if I don't, then I'm just going to say fuck it and I'm going to reroll shit for, for crazy times. Got a lot of team trick. I want to see purple versus orange. Because those colors work really well together. Like, really well together. So the black and orange. Oh my god. They're all ghosts flying up. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, have they actually... Oh my god, they've even decorated the stages. Oh, they're glowing. I didn't see what the name of their team was, but they're fucking glowing. Booyah, 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 everyone. They've decorated... They haven't, like, like... Like, there's stickers everywhere. It's not, like, a massive amount, but they've done stickers everywhere. That alone is pretty fucking good. It does give it a new, unique look. Like you can see, oh my god. Holy shit, how do they make Splatfest even better? Oh my god, that's so fucking good. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now. This is so good. Ah! Oh, didn't get damage from any of that. Fuck yeah. Okay, ready? Boom! Yeah! Uh, I also just wanted to use it so I could build up. Ow! What? They even killed me! Oh, okay. That person's lagging like shit. They dropped out. They actually, they dropped out. Okay. That person was lagging like shit. One person has dropped. All right. And we're still in danger. <laughs> Gonna kill you from a distance. Cause that's what I got. Uh, well, I got you at least. I got you. Considering you're using a special and I still got you, I did all right. If you're not wearing one of the Halloween masks, like headpieces for this Splatfest, what are you even doing? Mine's not even super useful, right? Actually, I think it has Ink Saver main, so it actually is probably still useful because I don't have the body or the boots of that right now, so it's still good. But, if you're not wearing one of the helmets, what are you even doing? Oh. Okay, run away. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, one thing I... Ah. Oh, okay, okay, we're tying a lot. So, one thing I've been doing... And I've been flipping between the two, and I can't decide what I prefer. But this one, I should probably go for the other. But I've been changing my controls between this and the Joy-Cons, and I've realized that there's an advantage for me personally in using both of them. I can move around and get places way easier with this. Like, I can aim at walls and, like, aim my camera to move around everything way easier with this than the Joy-Cons. But, obviously, the Joy-Cons will make, like, I, like, if I need to turn a corner with the Joy-Cons, I find it, it's awkward and it's weird for me to do. It's partially just because of where the stick is on the Joy-Cons for the, uh, the right analog stick. Like, it's just, it's just in a spot, it's just, like, just low enough the way that I hold it that it's a little bit awkward. Not, like, awkward enough to be annoying, but just, like, I'm not as quick and immediate with it. And honestly, that may just be because... Like, on the Pro Controller, it's so in a typical position of, like, what the now-defined position of two sticks is since, like, the fucking GameCube 360 controllers have just done that so much. Fuck you! Oh, you ran away from it. You ran this way. There we go! I killed someone without them killing me first! Yay! God. I was about to say, if we don't win this, even though when they've dropped someone. Fuck. There we go. Uh... Like, with the Joy-Cons, I can kill people way quicker with that. I, I'm, I'm way better at killing people with the Joy-Cons, because obviously the aiming is a lot finer and easier, because you're pointing instead of just trying to, like, gyrate the controller around to where you want to aim. But it's way harder for me to get around, because of where the right stick is, and because I'm moving the camera so much, like, slight movements with the Joy-Con will move the camera more than the, the controller, because, like, you're pointing instead of just, like, rotating the thing around. And also, it's just easier to move the Joy-Con because it's just in one hand, so it's only that one hand that's balancing it. Like, while I'm moving a stick on the Joy-Con, because my other hand isn't there to counterweight it, if I'm turning the stick, I might be moving the camera a little bit. So it's way harder for me to move around, but I'm way better at aiming at people. So it's a bit, oh, I can go either way on that. Oh, do we get no clap for that? Oh, that makes sense. They dropped. They dropped. That's fair. That's actually fair. Because... I, so I guess that's how it's going to work now. Because overall clout means something, it'd be unfair to give clout to a team if someone from the other team drops. So that's fair. I can understand that. I, that makes sense, I guess. I understand why. I would like the clout, but it's fine. I mean, the clout only affects our score. It doesn't affect me ranking up, so... 
But it's all like the clouds. I like to help Team Trick win and go, yeah, Team Trick. Oh my god, I got the hiccups. I'm so sorry. That one really fucks me up. <laughs> sorry. The hiccup just. Inverted my throat is the only way I can describe it. Even though I know that's not what it did. It felt like it was inverting my throat. It was fucking weird. I do. I do. I'm just making sounds at this point. I'm just making fucking sounds. Give me Shifty Station. Yeah, we go. Or, I was going to say, give me Shifty Station or give me Trick vs. Treat. I want one of these matches to be special in one way or another. Shifty Station as well. Do it. Do it, you cowards. Cowards. Damn it! <laughs> I'd still play. Like, I leave. It even has, like, the film grain of the 80s for, like, super, like, B grade horror movie. Lady Warriors. Hell yeah, Lady Warriors. Let's fucking go. Why do we keep bursting people who have been winning a bunch? They keep having the sparkles. Booyah. I'm just booyahing a bunch to let people know. By the way, I got a booyah bomb on the. Oh, God, I want more weapons with a booyah bomb. If they fucking make a Kent Splash O Matic. With the booyah bomb, I'll be very happy. It not even it won't even be the best special for me to have for it, but it's fun. Like, I find the the booyah bomb is one of my favorites in terms of fun. Boom! Oh, it's not even that devastating to kill, but it's fun as shit to use. The ultimate in area denial. Even more so than the missiles to some capacity. Probably just because it lasts so long. Look at that. But how, how good do these colors look? Like the, the orange and purple together. Just those two. And it looks like Halloween. Like the Halloween colors. Oh! Okay. You were clearly... Actually, no. This may, this may kill in two shots. So maybe maybe you didn't have damage. Maybe I just actually got the first two shots off. Aimed properly. That, oh. oh! I thought there was a person there because I saw ink things spraying around. It was just that. Never mind. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Fuck, I should've popped, I should've popped the uh, Damn it, pizza! You already got me. No, I already got you, and then you got me back. Okay, we're, we're tied, actually, that's fair. All right, just gonna jump in, because everyone's far away. And they killed someone, good, okay. I didn't even check if it was a safe jump first, I just saw multiple of them, I'm just like, I'll jump to it. I'll jump to that. I'll get in on that shit. Yeah. Okay. We have good control. We're doing okay. This is a stage where control isn't everything, though because there's so many options for them sneaking around. Like, I can see what they're doing. It. Like, I can see you doing it. Oi, come here. Damn it, pizza! Damn it, pizza! <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I see what you're doing, asshole. Fuck you. Uh, oh, God! Good God, pizza! Thank you. Thank you for killing pizza for me. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, goddamn. Pizza's on a fucking warpath to kill me. Goddamn. I killed Pizza once and then Pizza's just like, Oh, you you want to fucking try this? But damn, Pizza, I'm gonna kill you again. Damn it. Well, I got the assist on Pizza. Just Pizza. How many times has Pizza killed me? If Pizza has 10 kills at the end of this, I'm gonna be very upset because most of them were me. I'm gonna be even more upset if Pizza has like four kills and all of them were me. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm gonna kill you. God damn it, you've moved around. So I have that issue in those situations with, because I'm using the Pro Controller currently. I didn't even mention which controller I was using. I just said, uh, um, with the Pro Controller, it's hard for me to uh, like turn around on it quickly. Hey, I got pizza accidentally. I got two people there accidentally. I was aiming for you the entire time. Yeah, we lost that. We lost that bad. They started pulling it back thanks to pizza, killing me repeatedly, honestly, more than anything. Ah, uh, yeah, and we, and we got fucking decimated. And I think overall, the Joy-Cons are probably a better option. It's just something I'm very much gonna have to play a lot to get used to. Pizza got nine kills. I think four or five of those were me. I also got six kills, though. So, I mean, I got some. Hey, Trick Fiends. At least it leveled up a little bit. Oh my god, those boots are so far away from leveling up. I thought, okay, okay, fuck. I need to win more matches. I need to win more matches is what I'm hearing. I need to win way more matches to be able to have that go up. <gasps> oh my goodness, I am sorry. The hiccups are too strong. They are way too strong today. <gasps> Say what I mean? They're strong as shit of that. 
How often do I just get to making sounds? Yo! Variety Syndicate times 10? I think I'm friends with one of those people. Dr. Arachnus. It was also colored orange. I think that I think that's what that also means. That yo, one of your friends got up there. There was someone I was on a Discord at one point, and like they play actual competitive. Yeah, yeah, Doctor Arachnus. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm friends with Doctor Arachnus. Hell yeah. Like they actually, I'm pretty sure they're someone who like actually competes in local tournaments in Australia for Splatoon. Did well. Bastard. To get the opportunity to have times 10 times 100 battles. Do you have to be already winning a lot? Like, it's part of a team battle. Like, your team needs to do that. Like, you need a logo, you need a name for the team and everything like that. Do you also just need to win a bunch in a row to have the opportunity? Like, what's the point of giving you two people a times 100 team if both of them haven't been doing Super Crash Art? So I'll probably, like, if if that's what it requires to be offered one at all, I'll probably never get one. I mean, I'm not, I'm never expecting to. I'm ne I'm not, well, there was a little bit of lag on the opening for that. I can't, oh man. The Lady Syndicate, we're back. Octo Society. The fucking film grain is so good. It's so good. Hell yeah, Evan Floor. Um, this is the best song. This is the best song that they have. Um, well, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Yeah, just like, like it's not a massive thing. Like they haven't, like with the with the plaza, like they've got new models and like all the slime and everything there. They haven't done that with this, which I can understand why, because it would affect it, would possibly affect gameplay or be like way too distracting. But even the fact that they've done the stickers is enough to just be like, that's fucking cool. Yo, go away. Fucking, just like look at that, just clear that entire path for us. Looks like this now, this now ours. Damn it. Oh! Oh, I thought the person shot me to death. I didn't even realize there was missiles being fired at me. <laughs> okay, yeah, missiles being fired at me while I'm in Toxic Mist. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great at all. Also, person just using like a weapon for Toxic Mist purely because it's this map, I can fucking tell that's what you're doing. Ah, uh, that's a pretty smart idea, actually, though. Like, more than anything, like, that's actually pretty genius. I, I, like, this is very much a map where Toxic Mist will prevail a lot. Oh my god. It's only to be able to shoot. Oh, there we go. There we go. I can't tell. Like, I mean, like, because this fire's fast enough, it's enough for me. But I feel like there have been some weapons that I've been using lately where I prefer... The slightly slower rate of fire and more damage, which is very, very unlike me for most cases in this. Ah! I was gonna fire like right into their base. Fuck you! I just wanted to make a mess more than anything. Fuck you up! Oh, we got people behind us. We got flankers. Oh, you fucking! I know you're here somewhere. Ah, you fucking dick! You're a dumb. <laughs> Fuck you, Ethan. Fuck you. God damn it! <laughs> That fucking tactic. Fuck. I mean, I killed ya, and so you left. I spawned next to the base, you spawned all the way back on your side. So you lost more ground than I did, so overall I probably still got the win on that, but you did kill one, one other person on our team, so I don't know. They're killing us two versus me just killing your one, probably. Ah, ha, 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 A person fell to their death. Wow, okay. I, I do not deserve the kill for that. Our slosher here clearly got more damage on that than I did. I just, I KS'd right at the end with that one final shot. Okay. Breaking into their base. How much are they breaking into our base? Not a lot at all, actually. Hell yeah. Fia! Fia! Fuck you! Fia! Come on. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, no, then. Are they getting some of ours back? A little bit. Ugh. Just fix up, uh, just make a bunch of a mess of their side as, as I can. I know they got to our side, how, oh. Oh, that could go either way. I think they've got it, but that could go either way. Damn it, damn it. I tried, I tried. But I tried solo to take over their side, which is never a good idea, but it's fine. Damn, damn, James Treat's gonna fucking wipe our assholes at this point. Damn, damn. I want Shifty Station. Give me shifty station. 
I also, I will also, hey, that leveled up. Sub seven, do it, you coward. Thanks. <laughs> hey, if it gets to full, if it gets like more of those, it just means that I can use a um, shell on it, a snail on it later, and then just go bam. Now I've got more. Uh, do I want to use that? Oh, I don't know what I want to use. Oh, well, there's so many decisions. The game's telling me to hurry up. Um, fine, I'll use that. <laughs> I'm gonna use. Fuck it, go blah blah blah. I love it. I love the blah blah blah. I definitely appreciate with a lot of the secondary options, like the custom weapons that they've introduced, and just some of the new weapons that they've introduced towards the end. There's been a lot of weapons in this game that I've really enjoyed. Way more in this game than I enjoy compared to the first game. I mean, there's more weapons in this game, obviously. And there's, uh, like, whole new classes of weapons where I enjoy them, like doolies and shit. Doolies. I was about to say the Brellas, but I really only like the Undercover Brella. The other Brellas are cool. But the undercover, like, I'm never gonna use that fire function. That's not something that I do. I'm not good at diving into the enemy's base um, like that, which is weird because I constantly try and do it. But I'm better at slowly pushing forward as they try and come up, which the undercover brother is perfect for that because it's literally a wall. That, the dualies, but just like, like this, the blob blobber, completely new type of slosher, not even remotely similar to any other slosher. And it's amazing. The, um, what's it called? The, uh, I think that's like the Nautilus, but better. The first one. Ball point splatling. That thing's great. I haven't used it as much lately because I'm not confident with it in any capacity, but I love it. I love that thing so much. That thing is so fun. <laughs> but I don't trust myself with it at all. At all. People expect it now. People know what it does, so it's nowhere near as effective as that first time. God damn it, gimme fucking shifty station. I want you to stand up, bastards. Variety lady mob. The variety squid syndicate. What's the difference between a syndicate and a mob and stuff? Booya, booya. Booya. Oh, man. Oh, blah, blah, was so good. It's so fucking fun. I love this thing so much. I can make it. I can just go. <laughs> Have they got a blah, blah, blah? Oh, no, it was one of my blobs bouncing back. Look at this! Look at this effectively cheating! <laughs> oh man, I, oh fuck. I didn't even think about how Blob Lobber would work on this stage. Oh, that's fucking great. Oh my god. Blob Lobber may, may, the big fucking may here, but it may have overtaken the Enzap as the weapon that I've been the most consistently effective with. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Fuck, I didn't even know you were coming behind us. Shit, okay. Shit, you got like multiple of us and survived, I think. Oh no, someone killed you. Right. I saw someone die and I thought it was uh, you killing another one of our teammates. No, it was one of us killing you. Uh, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Well, they haven't even reached this side of, like, their side. This end of their side, I should say. Yeah, oh. All ours now. All ours. All ours. Fuck it. None of them are invading our side. Nope, they're still all on their side. Trying to get to our side or trying to defend their side. Uh, so let's just continue killing them. Look, look at this shit. Oh my god. I am shocked this thing has not been nerfed yet. It... Like, it it might lose some of its impacts. I uh, like, and kind of defeat the point of the weapon. If four blobs didn't kill someone. But oh my god, four blobs killing someone means that it's, someone, it's a weapon that can kill someone in one shot that isn't a charger. And that is fucking nice. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Are there people over there? How, well, how effective is this going to work? I should really watch my six. <laughs> well, technically, actually, with the way I was facing, it's probably more like my four or my five. Ugh. <laughs> I love this thing so much. I love it so much. It's so good. It's so fucking good. I'm now I'm now doing the asshole thing. I'm I'm doing the thing of just I'm like, focusing more on killing them than actually trying to help. Oh god, oh god, here we go. Okay. You gotta you gotta go, my friends. Okay, well you're dead at least. Oh my god. Fucking 
jump spawn killing someone from across the map with a blah blah blah. Oh my god, that's uh, so fucking good. Okay. They're still in danger, despite the fact that they've taken over a good chunk of our side. Fuck. Oh god, okay, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Dangerous fucking special in this map. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, this could go either way. They're taking a lot back right at the end. I think they've actually got this. Fuck. Oh, I, uh, if I aim to be better, you would be dead. Oh, they totally got this, didn't they? Look how much of ours they got compared to how much of we, ours there's to be. Holy shit, we actually still got it. I am incredibly bad at telling who can win on this stage. Which is weird, because it's so more clearly defined into two separate sides, as you see. Who's got more of both sides? God, I love this weapon so much. Love the blubber. Eh, hey, synergy bonus. Nice. Nice. Yay! Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Um, <laughs> damn it. I don't even know if I have 10 left. Uh, I have exactly 10 left. Okay. If I win just as many as I did in these first 10, um, for this, then I'll be able to get to the second one. But I'm just gonna scrub this now and say fuck it so I can use the drink. Maybe a waste of 20,000 things, but fuck it. Fuck it. Scrub that shit. Make it clean. Watch it not work anyway, it just means I have to play a shitload more battles before I can max it out to actually use the snails on it. Okay. I want Shifty Station. I want one more before we cut back to whenever we're in further. But I want Shifty Station. Give me the Shifties. Get Shifty with it. Nah, 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 nah. Sorry. I keep apologizing. Okay, here's a question I've never actually asked. I've never asked. I don't even know if people have ever mentioned it even. But it's something I do a fuckload. I'm really curious. Do people like it when I bust into song for half a line and then stop myself because I can't sing for shit? Because I do it a bunch. I hear one word that's from us. Actually, in that case, I don't even hear a word from a song. Shifty and Jiggy are not the same fucking word. But I hear one word from a song that I'm under, and my brain says like, Ooh, I know that song. Start singing it, bitch. And then I start singing it. Do people like that? Do people care? Does it bother people? Does it annoy people? Does it bother people that I don't finish the song? It's because I know YouTubers busting into song is a thing that a bunch of YouTubers have as a thing. Or doing songs. But I like vary between whether I like it or hate it. As it finishes. Lost connection. <laughs> um. What was I talking about? Songs. Right. So, like, you can have a good example of people where I like it and I hate it. Of Achievement Hunter. Like, when they inevitably in a Minecraft Let's Play start doing all song together. That's fun. It's fun. Because, like, there's six of them who join in. And they all sing the song. And, like, different levels of fucking it up. Or, or like, getting it a little bit right. Very different extremes of how successfully that's done. And, like, there's all... And there's, like, the fancy editing of just, like, it cuts to whoever's doing the primary singing bit there. Or, like, the screens will fly around. And, like, and it's fun when they bust into song. And also, just hearing them sing the songs is entertaining. Like, it's a, it's a thing I enjoy. That being said, you get to the Play Pals, and they do the songs at the beginning of those. And I skip that every single time, because that shit is really annoying. To be fair, that is also them making up, like, a song on the fly. And they make it, and it's always really dumb. And it often is just swearing a bunch, and then screaming eventually. Um, like screaming instead of singing, and like I like I find the play pal songs incredibly annoying, and I literally skip it every single time because I hate that shit. But I love it when they burst into the song on the other things. I love that lag at the beginning of this map for for this filter. Give us shifty station, variety tentacle gang, because we've all got the same hairstyle. Oh, it's dope. We are. Uh... If they fucking, if everyone's wearing devil horns, and they fucking don't make the name of the team Little Devils, I am gonna be understandable that they wouldn't make an explicit 
reference to Devil May Cry, because fair enough, fair enough. Is it, is it Devil May Cry? Is it Devil May Cry? Little, that, like Devil May Cry 1, was that Team Little Devils? Or is it Bayonetta 1? So I want to say both Bayonettas, it says Team Little Angels, but it might be Team Little Devils for one and then Team Little Angels for another. And I'm not actually sure. I think it's Devil May Cry 1 that's Team Little Devils. But now I'm not even sure. Fuck. Like, it's literally just the name of the dev team, like, um, who, get, who got together to do it. Like, like when um, Kamiya is with a group of people and they're making a game, they always have a team name of just like, this is the name of the team who worked on this game. Like you've got Team Beautiful for Beautiful Joe, Team Wonderful for um, uh, Wonderful 101. I was trying to think of which team it was. Like you've got those. Does Akami have a team? Like a team name like that? And yes, it's like, I know that Bayo is either Team Little Angels and team, or Team Little Devils. And I can't remember whether it's Angels for one game and then Devils for another because Kamiya isn't actually the director of um, uh, Bayo 2. He's supervisor, but he's not a director. Um, or is it like Team Little Angels for both of those games and Team Little Devils for Devil May Cry? I can't actually remember. The point is, there is one of the dev teams or one of the games at one point that is Team Little Devils and if everyone on the team has Devil Hogs, then the name of the team name should totally be uh, Little Devils. But I, again, I understand if they don't want to have an explicit reference to a Capcom mate. Although, if it is Team Little Devils for Bayonetta, I mean, Nintendo do Bayonetta now, so you could get away with that. That means that I'm, I, I want to say it is Bayonetta, that's Angels. Because Angels are the enemies in that game, like it's all them together. Um, and Devils is, well, Devil May Cry. I mean, you're playing as a, a witch, and you're fighting the angels in Bayonetta, so I still don't even know if angels make sense for that, but it's fine. And the logo, instead of being Trish doing a sexy pose, it's Bayonetta doing a sexy pose? Or am I just mixing up the logo of Devil May Cry with also being the logo of Team Little Devils? So I know the logo of Devil May Cry is Trish. I just can't remember if the team name... Uh, I don't know dev team names off the top of my- I have ink- I have fucking ink wall. This would be a perfect map for ink wall and I have not been using it. That is dumb. Also, did we win that? I feel like we won that. Really? I'm so bad at judging on this map. I'm so bad at it. I'm gonna do one more of it's not Shifty Station. I'm just gonna say fuck it. I'll show off Shifty Station later, but I wanna show off Shifty! Get Shifty with it. Na 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 na. Banana, banana. Ava, avocado. No one uses that. It's been nerfed in this game, so no one uses it. Quick respawn only counts if you don't get a kill. So, you know, who cares? I mean, me, because I die a lot without getting a kill. Yeah, that makes sense. But, if I don't get a kill, die, and respawn faster, then it's just faster until I die again. <laughs> as is how it's gonna go for me, and I know as how it's gonna go for me, so... I am just making sounds again. You know, the smart thing to do, slash the not incredibly lazy, okay, not incredibly lazy, just a bit lazy, slash the not a bit lazy thing to do for these, would be to edit out the loading screen so you don't just hear me do Sylvester Stallone impersonations, well, technically, Mick Malloy's impersonation of Steve Stallone impersonation, because the oil oh, specifically comes from a radio bit while they're talking about Steve Stallone. Was it Mick Malloy did it? No one I'm talking to would know. No one at all. Um, so instead of hearing me do sounds, you're going to see the next match. And also cut down the link of these videos to probably more than half, given how long it takes to find a match sometimes. But that would take time. And I'm not going to do that. Because... Bad. <laughs> it also required me shutting up 
during the loading screen. So like, I don't start a conversation during a loading screen and then just continue it into the game and then it'll just be like, oh, you've lost half of that conversation because I edited it out. Uh, and that would require me shutting the fuck up for a goddamn second. So, you know, impossible to happen. Um, but I'm pointing out that I have like multiple videos lately where I've cut out massive chunks of time because it was a waste of time. Because it was Yakuza. Because, oh good god, trying to finish five stars in Yakuza. Oh good god, trying to finish five stars in Yakuza. Yo, who's up here? I'm gonna kill you. I should aim this thing. Ow! I should aim this thing more instead of just trying to chuck it everywhere until something dies. Yo, someone's got Dapple Nouveau. Oh, I don't think I've seen people use that, like, ever. I only just noticed that it was Dapple Nouveau because it was blue. I'm just like, wait, Dapple Dooley's being blue? What is happening? I'm just like, oh, it's got the sticker. Booyah! I love seeing everyone just spam Booyah. Love that there's a fucking team thing now for that. It's so good. Uh, VR bomb's great. I did not mean to chuck the ink wall. What a useless little ink wall just sit sitting right there. Yo, what if you were being be an asshole and just like. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I was gonna throw it on that side, so if you tried to go up that railing, it'd just be like, nah, fuck you, you're gonna hit by an ink wall. But alas, no. Put an ink wall at the top of it, so when they jump off, they just jump into it. Oh, that'd be good, too. Man, my team is doing a really good job of killing people, because that's a- Ow, damn it, Daphne Lebeau. Um, first, um, time I've seen someone in a long time was that person who killed me. I get the impression that this map isn't as good for the way I play uh, Blob Blobber as some of the others. Probably because there's a lot of the angles. Like, there's a lot of slopes and everything, so trying to account for the bounce on those is more difficult. Yo, accidentally. So that's what I love about this thing. How much you can just accidentally get kills or just fire it, run away, and then you get kills, like, outside of that. Oh, it's great. Fuck you. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I'm behind us? No, okay, we'll do it. Fuck you. Oh god, there's one behind us. Bye, bye, please. Damn it. Well, oh, no, I actually got the kill. I thought I got the assist. No, I totally got the kill. Post death kill because the shit just bouncing off the walls everywhere. Yeah. All right, jump in. Let's go again. Wee -haw! Fuck yeah. It not always being on the fucking gamepad definitely means that people, like, definitely me, but also a lot of other people. You squid jump a lot less than they used to. Which is honestly probably not the worst thing because, oh my god, the amount of times that you get killed doing a squid chop is, is crazy. Hell yeah, we won. Absolutely decimated. I did very little of that. I was just painting a bunch, which, considering I'm a blah blah, I should probably be uh, killing more, but maybe not like on that trigger fish where I was only killing for most of it. Did they drop someone? I don't think they did. I think I saw the, it being full the whole time, but for that big of a win for not dropping someone? Ouch. Oh, they had someone who didn't even activate their special ones with a sploosh matic Got it. Also, we had someone on our team with the NZAP89. Fuck yeah. Who got 13 kills. <laughs> so, you know. And even I got six. Fuck, I didn't even realize I even got that much. All right, well, we're not being given Shifty Station. The game does not like me at the moment. So, I'm going to cut to some point. Being a special 48-hour one and being so different, I might try, try to do three sessions for this one just to show off more maps with all the stickers and everything. So hopefully we'll get fucking Shifty Station at some point. But hey, you'll see Shifty Station after I've likely seen it. You know, unless I just continue not getting it until I do a next little bit. Uh, so cutting to some stage and we'll see if we can actually get Shifty Station when I return. Probably not though. And we are back for part two of hopefully three for the Splatterween celebration. I'm kind of just doing it now because I don't know if I'll have time to get up to champion. I know it's a 48 hour one, but I missed like the entire first 24 hours. Uh, so, all right, and there's a lot of stuff I gotta do in the next 24. So hopefully I will, but I have no guarantees. Most important thing, I'm gonna speak to our little dancing buddy here. We're going to re-roll some things um, on our little head here. Just gonna re-roll a little bit of this. Come on, subs. Bunch of subs. Well, hey, sub. That'll still help. But the most important thing 
Boom! Guess who was lucky enough to get that last one to be one of those on their second attempt of going around for this. Fuck yeah. And now with one no 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 almost fucked up there. Boom and we're scrubbing that thing or re-rolling the hat. We have exactly 30. Hell yeah! Pure ink saver punk blacks. Fuck to the yes. Fuck to the ass. A random question, how many um subs do I have? I got 28! Damn! I mean, if I could get this in a situation where I could get two of them, then I'd have a sub saver on my head, which would be good, because I've got that, and then I just need an ink saver main on my head, which I don't have. But now I've got two boots that are ink saver main, and then one that's ink saver sub, and um, almost one that's special charge up, but that's for the sploosh matic that thing I don't use anymore. So I'm gonna leave that one like that. But hey, the boots are not finished. Which basically overall means that a set that I can't currently wear, because it's a splat fest, of Punk Blacks, Black Inky Rider, Fake Contacts, is now actually done. I can now just wear, like, that set and be awesome and love it. And it's like a, a set that I aesthetically find the most pleasing. And is also just now actually finished. So I'm very, very happy. But any time that I play this when I'm not in a splat fest, I now have an outfit to just always wear. Um, unless I do actually get around to doing any of those ranked uh, videos that I say I'll do with the um, end zap now that it's actually finished. But, you know, I can't always play this because it requires the internet and I'm uploading very, very frequently. Um, thank you, Danganronpa, for having incredibly long episodes that requires a shitload of time to upload. You stop me from playing this an online Monster Hunter. <laughs> a lot. Love the Australian internet. So there's a thing for Australia called the NBN, National Broadband Network. That's um, basically meant to just install fiber around the country. Um, thanks to the arsehole right-wing party that um, got into power um, after the arsehole not as right-wing party um, announced the NBN. They decided to just intentionally hinder it because um, they thought it would save them money and then they fucked up and it's costing more money uh, for a worse product that's going to get here later. But overall... Like, it's a lot shitter than what it was planned to be, and taking way the fuck longer. Um, but, it's still better than what we currently have, kind of. Uh, it cuts out a lot more, um, apparently, from the people I know who have it. I was meant to originally get it back in April, then during April it was delayed to May, then during May it was delayed to June, and then in June it was just delayed indefinitely, until we got to September, where they said it was um, coming in October, and now that we're in October, they're now saying it's coming in December. So, once that happens, I'll actually be able to, you know, upload things properly. Hell, maybe I'll even be able to stream if it's good enough. Um, like, literally at least at all. But until then, you know, I'll stick with spending over a day uploading a single dang and for video. Until that moment. Also, hey, look, we're on Sturgeon Shipyard. My favorite stage in this game that we so rarely get to play on because it so rarely appears. Because instead, it's always fucking... Black Belly Skate Park or Arowana Mall or fucking Humpback Pump Track. I, the stages that I don't like appear way more frequently than the stages that I like. Now, is that because there are more stages in this game that I don't like compared to stages that I like? Almost definitely, yes, because I dislike way more stages in this game than I like. I think that's my biggest criticism about... Ow, fuck. About Splatoon 2 is just... I think a lot of the stages are not as good as in the first game. I mean... It's obviously a personal preference thing, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of stages here that I do not like. Compared to, like, I feel like overall in the first game I at least liked more stages than I didn't like, where in this game I counted, and that is not the case. I, I, I don't dislike Comeback Pump Track. I actually think Comeback Pump Track is a good stage. It's just one that I'm terrible at. Well, like... Black Billy Skate Park, I genuinely don't like it as a stage. I think it's not fun to play on there. And it's mainly because of the slopes. Like, the fact that... Oh my god, that is. The fact that so many of the parts where you move around on, um, on Black Billy Skate Park are angled slopes instead of just being like like straight things like this. I just find there's a lot of parts of that stage that are very awkward to get around and it's a bit... Uh... 
But this is my favorite stage. I, th I feel this is a stage that constantly keeps the battle very much going. Like, it is the constant, like, it's a stage where you're constantly going and you're constantly going. And I find it's a stage where, when no matter pretty much any position that you're in, winning, losing, position on the map or anything like that, you've pretty much always got options that are effective. So it becomes about who can use those options the most effectively. I definitely feel out of all the stages, it's the one that I find that happens the most, where if you're in a losing position, you've got a tactic that you can use to win. If you're in a winning position, you've got tactics that you can use to hold the line um, effectively. And I find it's a stage where that happens more than any other. Where there are some stages where it's definitely not the case. But like Skip a Pavilion. I really like Skip a Pavilion and it's now one of my favorite stages in the game as well. I'm terrible at it though. And the, and I know the exact reason why I'm terrible at Skip a Pavilion. And it's because it's so much easier for people to like flank you. Because there's no like just walking to the other team's base as much in Skip a Pavilion. It's so easy for to not know where enemies are coming from if you're not paying attention. Because you could be down in the middle and this is like, they could come from behind me, in front of me, or beside me. And it's like, they could very easily come from any of those and have no way of being able to be aware where that's happening. I got eight kills, seriously? Fuck. I'm good at this stage. <laughs> oh, guys, I... Oh my goodness. But, um... Inkblot Art Academy is a stage I'm neutral towards overall. I think there's some really good aspects to Inkblot Art Academy, but there's some parts of it that are a bit... Uh, the two bits on the side feel a bit odd. Like the things where you go down that side path and you end up down there. It feels it, Those feel awkward, but I love, I love that there's two ways of going about Inkblot Art Academy if you're trying to get into the uh, other team's base. And there's two direct ways to go about it, and it's either go up the ramp that you can't swim up, but you can hide from them a bit more because it's down low and out of the way and there's a wall there. Or you can try the super ballsy thing and you can jump straight to their base by jumping from that middle platform onto that one block and from that block onto that tree thing and then from the tree onto like onto their base where their spawn point is. Or if you get up to the, where the tree is, you know, on the tree, you can go up that wall. So there's tricky technical ways to get into the other team's base, and there's multiple ways you can go about it that have varying levels of, like, risk and reward to them, and I really like that. I'm not good at it, though. But the side parts on that stage are a bit weird. I say that because I can see Inkblot Art Academy right there. Um, Arowana Mall is another stage like Blackbelly Skate Park where I find some parts of the stage are a bit awkward to move around because of the slopes, where they're angled slopes instead of just being straight line slopes. Like, it's just, like, getting around. It's like, I try and go up the wall and, like, do the fast thing to jump up there a bit or just try to escape. And it just feels a bit awkward sometimes. And I'm just like, ah, it's weird. Um, I feel like I feel like I enjoyed Arowana Mall a lot more in the first game compared to this one. I know there's some slight changes they've made to it. They even made some of those changes in Splatoon 1. And I feel like I have not liked it as much as then. I feel like it's a much harder stage now to do the side alley shit where you sneak into their base, which was always a fun part of... Um, Arowana Mall, and because once you sneak into their side, you can come up behind them. And coming up, if you're coming up, if they're in the middle and you come up behind them, they very much have the advantage because they have the high ground, and it's very difficult for you to shoot up that high ground where it's very easy for them to shoot from it because of how steep that slope is into the middle. But I feel that's a, a lot more difficult in this game compared to the first one. I don't know what exactly is different about it, but I see people so rarely do it. Like, every time I... When I usually try it, it usually doesn't work. And when enemies try it, they just don't. Like, I just so rarely see it. Maybe it's because people know about it now, so it's nowhere near safe because people are aware people do that, but... I just don't see it as much as I used to. And it was always a fun part of it, because it was... You can advance forward... And again, Arowana Mall is a stage where as you advance forward, because if you if you secure that middle area, as you're fighting them, you've got the advantage because of the way that high ground works. But if you are going that past that far past that high ground, it makes it way easier for them to sneak up behind you because you lose the high ground's advantage when they're coming backwards. Oh my god, give a Shifty Station. I have played Shifty Station once this Black Fest. It has ink rails, the auto-moving ones. Um, and I've played it once. I still don't quite understand the layout of the map because I've played it once 
and oh my god, just make a fucking appear. I thought the Shifty Station was supposed to be more likely to get than other stages, because it's unique, and I've seen it so fucking rarely in this one. I mean, I'm happy with Sturgeon Shipyard, and this stage is alright, because I feel these parts feel weird. I know, they're very, very large, and getting out of them, like, puts you at a big risk because of the way you have to go up here, and like, and enemies can like, just drop down and shoot you from there. And it's probably because there's such a large area that the idea is, if you're gonna go through the, if you're gonna try and take those, you can get to take a lot of area, but getting back to a safe position from once you've done that is difficult. And that's meant to be the idea behind it. This is honestly a stage where I think it's more enjoyable in ranks than Turf War. Like playing this in Splat Zones or Rainmaker is super fun. This stage is great for Rainmaker because of the bullshit that you gotta do to try and get the Rainmaker there. And the Splat Zones is just fun because of the divided into two. I much prefer Splat Zones when it's two separate ones. I find it's way more enjoyable, but that's just me. Uh, there's a lot of stages that I'm very neutral towards. Like, there's not... I feel like there's a lot more stages in the first game that I adored and loved compared to this one. Because the stages that I adore and love in this one are Sturgeon Shipyard, Moray Towers, Walleye Warehouse. Two of those are from the first game game. Um... I don't know, there is so many stages that I am at. I mean, Kelp Dome, but again, Kelp Dome's from the first game. Blech. Right, please. Thank you. Oh, Makomart? I actually love Makomart. Makomart's a really great stage. Done on stage from this, this one. Makomart's a stage where... Like, it's not that I'm bad at the stage, but I'm not good at the stage, but it's just, it, it, it's a stage where it wildly swings. Like, very, very wildly. <laughs> oh, man. I was gonna say, you should have tried to sneak out of that a bit more, but I understand why you couldn't. The entire thing was covered with with orange, so trying to sneak in would have been way harder, because, well, you'd have to walk through our ink, but damn. Did, did I punish you for it? Very skilled. Oh, God! Good God. Anko V Games? I never played the Anko V Games in the first game. At least, I don't, if I did, I don't recognize it, but apparently it was a, a favorite in the first game. I do really enjoy Anko V Games. Um, one thing I've noticed a bit about NKV games when I've been playing on it, it is a stage that breeds campers, unfortunately. I, I don't know if there's anything particular about it that does it, or if it's just for luck, or if like camping's just a strategy that works way more on there, but it is very much a stage that brings out the campers, and it's a bit upsetting. Oh god. Oh good god, run away! You die. Man. I held down the ground quite well there for like the la like once they were in danger. What were everyone else doing? I was still holding the ground everywhere else, it just wasn't in danger, they just took it back a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. No, we actually did really well there. <laughs> the fact that it stops being in danger, I was worried they were taking it back because the rest of our team died. No, everyone actually did a pretty damn good job. They just did naturally take it back because this is a stage where winning and losing team are kinda evenly balanced. Oh, the reef. Oh, I hate the reef. That stage just sucks. Um, I really don't like that stage. The Reef, I feel, is another one of those stages where the winning team has such a huge advantage. Like, it's a stage that's very hard to come back from because they're so easily able to just put you into a choke point. There's a bunch of stages where that happens. Where the winning team has such an overwhelming advantage. Like, if you're winning at Inkport Art Academy and you're trying to push forward, you've always got the low grounds, and your mobility options are always way more limited than the opposing team. Because if you, like, if they want to, if they want to move forward, they can jump down and it's fine. If you want to move forward, you've either got to make tricky jumps or you've got to walk up a thing that you can't ink. So if you want to push the advantage in Inkport Art Academy, you are going to be on the like, you're going to be on the side where you have to be more careful. Where I feel is the reef, even though it has something similar where you jump, where you drop down onto that square that has the ramp on it, it is so easy for them to choke you on that spot. Whereas, it's like, they can pinpoint that and just mow it down. And even if you do come at them from the side path that it exists on the reef, it's very easy for them to spot that or to be able to come back from that. Like, you come down to there and you're not sneaking up on them, you're just putting yourself on equal footing kind of thing. Also, do you have a shifty station? For fuck's sakes! 
I don't want to record all of this and then I'll have Shifty Station once on this. Fuck me, come on. Come on. <sighs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up recording a lot for this and I'm gonna have Shifty Station appearing once or twice. Fuck, why am I getting so unlucky? I just want to see more of the map. I didn't realize until the last 30 seconds of 50 Station when I was playing it that I wasn't at the middle stage of the map. I only realized that the middle, the middle of the map was further than what I thought it was, like 30 seconds from the end. There's a shitload of players on that stage. Like there is a fuckload. Each, each team's side has at least three that I noticed, and it's like, that's, that's ridiculous. Look at this tree. I feel the tree tactic is not something people use anywhere near as much um, anymore. Probably because, again, it's like a known tactic. Like, if you get spotted for it, you can be shot out of the air so damn easily. Fuck you. You dead. Damn it. No, you dead. Ah, fuck you. Damn it. Damn it, Kesha. Oh, she's even got, like, the little things under her eyes that are like Kesha. Uh oh. <laughs> Intentional? Probably not. But I like to think it is because it's funny up that way. You, uh, what a terrible throw. What a. Oh, okay. Get out there! Oh, I'm gonna get you, you so much. I'm gonna get you so bad. You're gonna wish I didn't get you so bad. Oh, no. You tried! But you failed. Haha, uh, take that. Uh. Hell yeah. yeah like, these, these side sections for this map are kind of weird and out of the way, but they take up so much space that you can't really ignore them. But they just... It feels like it takes you out of the action a lot to go do them. Which may be the idea. That's like, you can take over the space, but you'll, but you'll be doing very little to contribute to the efforts of holding down the middle area. Which is by the nature of the design of this with this giant middle tower on here and multiple ways of getting into this area like from either the side to jumping down or going down this ramp or like just holding it from the tower. It's very easy for whichever way you're holding down that middle area for it to go either way. Oh my god. Like it's very easy for whoever's holding the middle area for it to change in a, in a second. Wow, this should not be working as well as it is. Although, as, I, as I'm saying that, I kill so many of them there, and then look how much from the middle they take over. Exactly my point. Urgh! Just distract you enough that we can keep it for the end. I think we have this at the moment. Oh, we most definitely do. But uh, that could still change. Oh my god. So I got, and, and like you go up to their base, the time it takes to get up there, they can easily drop down the middle and start taking over the middle again. It's a very strategic map and I like it. It's just those side bits feel odd. <laughs> Damn. Not often that I win twice in a row in Inkblood Art Academy. Holy shit, eight kills. I don't know if this weapon's gonna overtake the weapon that I'm best with over the Enzap or the Blob Lobber. But fuck, when I play it, it feels like it will. <laughs> I often do well with this weapon. It's probably because it is very similar to the Enzap. It fires similar to the Enzap. Like out of all the guns, the end zap in this probably feel very, very similar to fire. And it also has tension missiles. It's just the, the the key difference between the two sets is do I want person denial and person occupying with the auto bomb, or do I want large or do I want larger single area denial with the suction bomb? Because you can deny a section way easier with this than the um, auto bomb, but the auto bomb can distract one person for a decent amount of time. <laughs> Go, good God, give us Shifty Station, you fucking cuntbags! God damn it! Seriously? Seriously? Ugh. I still love that filter. But good God, give us Shifty Station. Fuck. I wonder if because it's a 48 hour they've made it less likely to get a shifty station because like you'll see it plenty of times and it's like no I've seen it once I've seen it once give me more give me give me more give me give me more okay. hey that's my trick my thing that is the wrong button I don't know why I pressed the map for use uh yeah 
Kill you. Somewhere here. There you are. Hi. <laughs> this box. This box here is what makes fighting down here actually, like, worthwhile. Because the amount of, like, flip... Oh my god, I'm so bad at that. Aim higher. Aim higher! I don't know... Ow! Ow, carbon roller. Oh no, hero roller. Fucking the hero roller co Hero roller constantly makes me think it's the carbon roller. Because the carbon roller is the one that has the things connected on both sides. And so does the hero roller. Like the normal splat roller, it's on the thing that connects on one side. But fucking no, the hero one connects on two sides. That... <laughs> Hell yeah. That's that's my way of offering support. My kill stealing. Oh god. I'm so bad at those fireballs. Fuck you. Good fuck you. Die please. I did not even see you enough to see where the tracking went to see where you went to try and kill you. Uh That's one thing that I've been trying to do a bit more. Oh, good, okay. I actually accidentally spawned you into a really good spot. Hide behind a brick. Uh, in case people were there trying to kill us. But, um... Ow, 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 ow. You need to not be here. Thank you. You need to not... Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, fuck! Fuck, the person did the jump! Shit! They did the jump onto the block. Fuck. Oh, they were hiding up here and I had no idea. Fuck, okay. Yeah, one thing I've been trying to do a lot more with, um, the Tentive Missiles is use it on someone where I'm just like, I don't know exactly where you are, but I know you're around. So then when, as you're trying to run away from the tents of missiles, I can chase you down and just kill you. Oh, the mother- Oh, fucking- See what, see what I was talking about? Fuck you. <laughs> Look how far away they ran. They realized I was coming after them and then they literally dodge rolled away. Fucking ow, fucking ow, fucking ow, fucking ow. Fuck you. Thank you. Good God. Oh, man. People who are really confident in their ability to both run and to shoot people directly in front of them are fucking dangerous when it comes to breaking into your base. They're so fucking good at it. Oh, man. Ow, 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 ow. The fact that I didn't die for as long as I didn't die there is very, very surprising. I still lost, but hey. Good God. Respawning after the buzzer into seeing two other people also at the base is just like, yeah, it didn't go well for us, did it? That did not go well for us. If you don't give me Shifty Station, I am gonna complain on Twitter probably. <laughs> I won't do anything else. Because, you know, I'm a white socialist, so the only thing I do is complain on Twitter. But, don't make me do it. Don't make me. Fuck is it gonna make me, aren't ya? I just wanna show it off. Like, literally just once on camera for posterity. I mean, we have another session later as well. I'm not. Oh, well, if, if I don't get if I don't get Shifty Station, I fucking have to have another one later. Um, I will say, how this has been going so far um, has been going a lot better than it's been going in the lead up to this point. I've been losing a shitload of matches at Splatfest, like a lot, like a lot. It's been bad. It's been bad. It's mainly just fighting teams that are more coordinated. Like, so many situations where if I see one person, there'll be another person there. Pretty much all the time, and it's just shit. I should stick with my team more. But then I don't do that because I'm an asshole, and then we lose. And then I blame everyone that isn't me. Dr. Peter, is that another person who's a friend, or do the orange names just mean something different? I don't recognize that one, but I have a lot of friends on my account that I wouldn't recognize because a lot of people who play online Splatoon just add anyone that they play with as a friend. And then I accept those because I can. Good fucking God. Give us Shifty Station, you fucking fuckbacks. Ugh. Good God. Why is it so hard to get it? Once. I've seen it once. This whole Splatfest. I'm working my way towards Queen. I should have fucking seen it more than once. Also, this stage doesn't seem as interesting Halloweenized as some of the others. Like, you've still got the spider things on everywhere there, but there doesn't seem to be... <laughs> maybe, I was about to say, there doesn't seem to be any on the floor. Maybe it's because I'm getting to... I'm always getting to... Oh, good God! 
fuck? Okay, yep, that, that, that's how that camera works. Um, that was a bad situation, no matter what it is. Look at the skull there! Fucked up. Income on. Uh, not help me, but I hope everyone else got a good use out of it. Fucking throw it out, see who dies. Hey, okay, sometimes the ramp. Uh, go away! Nope, they had to run away long enough to not kill me. Hell yeah. You go away. I don't know where you went. We're gonna find you! Oh, just find you, I guess. Go away! <laughs> I, can, I saw them start running away as I came up because they know what, I'm, what I've got. Go away! <laughs> dick! Why? Why are you playing it this way? Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Trying to pop those is not worth it if you're the other team. Go away! <laughs> like, their team is in danger because this one person is not actually helping. Are they gone? Are they stopped being there? Did they get the freaking point? But if I had splat bombs, that person would be dead. Be up there. Oh god, fuck. I keep using the tender missiles in very, very risky situations in this game. It is dumb. Ah, nice. So I get point, like, an assist for that for taking out their shield? No, oh, okay. Ugh. That landed over the other side, didn't it? No, it landed on top, okay. Oh god, oh god. Run away from the bomb rush blush. Da 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 da. that just gone very differently to the others? This feels way more scattered than usual. Feels way more chaotic and just kind of. Uh, oh. Uh, running away, running away, running away. Fuck, fuck, fuck! I'm very bad at running away sometimes. Oh, that, I can see their run speed up. I can see, like. They don't have a lot of it, but they have enough of it to. Oh, man. I should really make an undercover umbrella set. That just, like, focuses on ink saver run speed. That being said, I could probably just do part of that with some of the things that I got. Although my only run speed up things are double egg shades and they look horrible on the Octolings. Look! Oh, okay, on the Inklings. I, just, I really don't like them on the Octolings. Are you got the x or the Slotion Machine? I don't know what you've got, but I don't like it. Throw a bomb. <laughs> I have no idea where that went. I think we took a little bit back at the end. But look at that mess. Look how much of a mess that is. I can't tell. Yay! Wow, by that much? Jesus, okay. Did not realize at all. Yay! Okay, one more. God, one kill. That's perfect. But I did do the most turf, so I did my job there. I'm gonna do one more, and if it's not Shifty Station, I'm gonna be pissed. And I'll come back for getting that status of Queen, and hopefully we get it then. Do it, you fucking cowards. <laughs> Give me Shifty Station! Urgh. It should not be this hard. It's a unique map. Let me fucking play it. It should always be more likely. Always. Like, I know it's there for 24 hours, so, like, you'll see it more than any other stage. But it's only there for those 24 hours, and it's completely new every time. It should be different. Like, it should be more likely. Like, at this stage, I'm gonna actually max out my ranking, and the unique stage that'll never come back, I'm gonna see once. Ugh. It may be more likely and I've just been incredibly unlucky, but I've never had a situation, I don't think, where I've done these videos, and in that first lot of matches that I do, I haven't gotten Shifty Station. Whereas I've played a bunch now, because I'm up to this, and I've seen it once, and not even on camera. Oh. Garr! Honestly, I'm shocked we're not seeing more Queen and King. At this point, it's been the 24 hours that it started from. So, like, it would have finished by now if it was a normal one. I'm shocked that... Fuck you. I like this map, but fuck off! God damn it. <laughs> ah, this is frustrating. Just fucking give us Shifty Station. You cunts! Ugh. Okay. Whatever. Went on this, and then, yeah. And then, yes! Yeah. Get those two. Will we have a match people who are just constantly booyahing the entire time? I like those matches. Booyah! Fuck you. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was never gonna work. Some people still booyahing. 
Hi again. See how I like the splatter shot? I'm able to actually do decent. I've realized as it's gone on how much I actually appreciate range. Perhaps playing this game for so long where I often don't use weapons with range. Now that I'm playing more. Oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> I feel like I need ink resistance because I'm very bad at avoiding enemy ink when I'm running away. I feel like I desperately need ink resistance. And I have nothing that I've built towards it. Nothing. But, um. I'll say anyway. Oh, yeah, just. Uh, yeah, as I've pl been playing more and more with, like, weapons that have more range. Like, I'm not even playing a, a, a ranged weapon in any capacity right now. I'm literally just not using the weapons that have tiny range, and I'm appreciating it. <laughs> Like, considering my main two, but like in the first game, and then for like the start of this game, were the Omatics, the things that have the smallest range in the entire game. I'm appreciating actually being now able to kill people without having to face fuck them. Even though, like, my third main, the Octobra, like, fuck. I appreciate not having to face fuck people to kill them now. And again, it's not even a weapon with massive range. Okay. That was my fault for aiming at the person who had everyone around him and only aiming at one. Where I could have pointed to the left and probably got to two or three, but I will it's, it's not fine. It's not fine at all. It has directly led to this situation of a bunch of people trying to kill us right here. Look at this. Just two sides trying to take each other out. Nice. Okay. Okay. Well, I was distracting them by running away. So, oh my god. Okay, fuck. Okay. We still got a lot of their, their team at once. But we don't have a we don't have skill footing. We've got a decent footing, but we're not super secure. Oh nice. Boom, okay. Blow up! Boom! Yeah. How? How did you not die from any of that? Oh god, oh god, oh god. I got one, but Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh good god, there's another one. Or was that the person who was dying and there, and there was lag? I can't even tell. Fucking like kills! Ah! Oh my god. I don't know how I lived through all of that shit. Ah oh my god. Another assist. Another kill! Fuck me! Okay. Uh, I think we've got that, but that could have gone either way. That was a good match. That was a good fucking match. <laughs> I feel like we were constantly, like, pushing each other there. I think we had the slight advantage for most of it, but felt like they were constantly fighting back. Person who hit on top of that as it went up, good fucking tactic. I spotted you though. And you I don't think you spotted me coming up. I didn't even have ninja squid. Alright, okay, well, I'll cut back to when we're closer to the end. Hey, three, 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 three nine, nine, nine. Exactly a third of the way there. Um, I'll cut back to later. And fucking hopefully we'll have Shifty Station appear when I do the next bit. Otherwise, we're just gonna keep fucking recording until I get it. Watch this be a three hour video because we're not gonna get fucking goddamn jack shit with it. I just did six matches and none of them were Shifty Station. Uh, uh, I can't do the spin as much. I'm using, I'm still using the Pro Controller. I tried to use the Joy-Cons a little bit before. I'm just like, nah, I need the, I, I need the Pro Controller. I need the ability to move around the environment better. Like, how much extra I'm better at aiming at people while I'm trying to kill them does not make up for how much more difficult it is for me to get around places. So, yeah, I'm back to the pro. I'm sticking with this one. Anyway, we'll be back, hopefully, with Shifty Station. Hopefully. And we're back for one final little bit. Um, I'll be frank, it hasn't been going exactly super well. I've uh, been quite a bit to get up to here um, to try and get Trump Champion to Queen. Um, oh, yeah, look. I never actually noticed that before. How on there it shows the teams that win the battles. Look at that. Look at the big check they've got. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, um, I've now played on Shifty Station three times in total. <laughs> And um, I think I, I think I now know why it isn't appearing much. Um, because it's shit. <laughs> so I mentioned it has ink rails. If we don't get to see it, because um, this is the last rotation of stages. Like it, the swipe fest ends in an hour and forty minutes, and I go to work in. 50 minutes, so we can't just keep playing until we see it. Um, so if we don't see it, basically, 
It's a whole bunch of those ink rails that automatically move you along them. There's like five on each team's side, divided into two part, like two sections. There's one that's a set of three that all follow each other down the middle, and then there's two that follow down the sides. And they all lead to a very tall center platform in the middle. Oh, like between the two halves. Like, well, both, to, like, each of the two sides of it leads to the middle. Like, the end of the three leads to the middle, the end of the two leads to the middle. All to this one very big center part. Um, and it sucks. It is terrible and atrocious. It is a really fucking bad map. Because the only way to get to the middle, aka to the part where you're shooting the other team's side, is to go on these ink rails. There's no other way to get on them. So if one team's already on that top part, then the only way for the other team to get up there and fight them is to go on to points where there's only two ways of getting to it. And they're coming at in a very specific line on a very defined path at a very defined speed. <laughs> Making it a fairly simple place to, like, defend, overall. I was hoping you'd jump off the edge there. Um, so, yeah, if you've got, like, if you've got that middle thing, it's fairly simple to just stand at the top of that and then just defend it permanently. And because it's so high up, it gives you a very, very large shooting area onto the other team's side. And if you jump down, if you drop down onto it, then you don't, you're not safe anymore. But you can just get to that. Like, once you're on that top area, you can just choose to drop into the other team's base, and then you're in there. Um, that sucks. It's really bad. You know how I was talking before about some of the maps, how I like the ones where it's kind of even like both the team with the advantage and disadvantage in terms of how much turf they've covered have options of making a move. No, this is a stage that extremely benefits whoever has that middle area to a frankly absurd degree. Because, again, the only way to get up there to contest that is to come across in very specific, very well-known, defined paths. There's no way to sneak up there, and in fact, the enemies can literally see you coming from quite a distance away because they can see you on the rail. Like, you can duck into the railing, and that's almost necessary to some extent to be able to try and sneak in there. But, um, good god, it is still, even then, like, they can, you can still see people when they're hiding in this. And it's just, oof, oof, it is, um, yeah. And it's just, it's not, it's not great. I've been on a, I've, since loading it up, like, this morning from waking up to getting ready to, um, go to work and then trying to finish this off, I've won one match. Uh, hopefully this is a second. But probably not. I got so much of that middle and we've only got a little bit, of, I think we just saw us dip into danger there. God damn it. Uh, it's been going very poorly. It's been going very, very poorly this split first. I can't seem to find a good rhythm with any of my weapons. Holy shit, seriously? Fuck me, okay. I still stand by my point of I've not been able to get a good rhythm with any of the weapons that I've been using. I mean, five is all right. But it's NSAC. It's the weapon I'm meant to be the best with. I'm meant to be doing a lot better than I did there. I was dying a lot. Uh, can you put us on Shifty Station like at least once so I can record it? I tell you what, if I get up to Queen status, and we still don't have it. And we still haven't seen it. I'm just gonna load it up in the fucking recon. <laughs> Cause, ah. Uh. I feel like they know it's bad and that's why it's not showing up a lot. Because seriously, for how many matches I've played and the fact that I've only seen it three times, I've seen other maps more times in a row during this. Just, they don't want to give it to us. They really don't want to give it to us. They know it's a terrible map. They know it's terrible, so they don't want it to appear. 
That being said, for me talking about defending the middle, I uh, did save a cliff. Um, if I'm able to upload it to Twitter, I will. Um, and by that, I mean if I'm able to remember to upload it to Twitter, I obviously can. But I <laughs> recorded a clip of, I think it was like three of us having the top area and having it down secure. And then there was someone who was riding on the rails. Um, we were trying to shoot them as they were coming on the rails. It didn't work. Uh, and then they octo brushed um, and killed all three of us just really quickly. And we knew they were coming and saw that they were there. And then they still killed like three of us instantly. And it was atrocious. It was so bad. And I'm just like, wow, we should all feel bad about that. And we did. We did. <laughs> I am baffled. But it has not shown up more. I don't think I've ever had a shifty station look show up this infrequently before. I don't think I've ever had a thing where I've recorded the first session and shifty station hasn't shown up. I don't think I, I don't think that's ever happened. Like within the first one. Like, oh my god. <laughs> but it's like how much less frequently I'm seeing it in this compared to any other time that I've ever played. Um, I definitely feel like it's like there's a reason for it. Yeah, your uh, inkjet doesn't work on those grates. I don't know whether you were thinking it, like it was it wouldn't, but it did look like you were pointing down. So I think you're expecting to go into the air, and uh, you didn't. It doesn't work on grates. Oh, fucking rollers! Rollers have been the bane of my existence. This splatfest, they really have. I've been so bad at trying to kill them. Hey, thanks, Bob. Ow! Okay, okay. You got me. Damn it, nutbuster. I'm gonna lose again. Oh, it's going so poorly. <laughs> uh, and it's been very much the teams I've been on have been doing poorly, and I'm doing poorly. Just like Team Trick as a whole is not going well. Except they seem to be constantly winning the 10 times and 100 times battles because they're constantly the ones who have those in the note, in the news flash. So maybe the, maybe they've won enough of those that that will make up for the cloud loss of all the other teams. Okay. Ow! What? I should be better than being hit by uh, tenses. I really should. Go scabies! Keep me alive for a second. Oh god, oh god, oh god. God, god. Oh. Gonna lose this in the last couple seconds, aren't we? We had this for quite a bit. We're gonna lose it in the last couple seconds. Ow! Damn it, Nutbuster. I get it. I insulted you for the way you used your thing at one point. Damn it. Is that, a, is that the BR bomb they threw up there? Holy shit, we actually won that? Seriously? Damn. And they get almost a team wipe right at the end? Impressive that they didn't capitalize on that and actually take it back and win. Yay! Okay, we have a win there. Honestly shocked. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, at least one more match either way and we'll get it. With how many times I was losing, I was genuinely worried I wasn't going to get to clean for this one. And I have to do that. I have to be the Hallowed Queen. That just popped in my head. I can't believe I've never thought of that stupid joke before. <laughs> I'm a Hallowed Queen. I'm a Hallowed Queen. <gasps> Splatter Queen. That doesn't make sense. Oh, that wouldn't make sense for the rest of the time that you're playing it to be a Splatter Queen. It only makes sense for the Halloween one. I'm curious what the other... Again, because they've found there's four special ones in the data files. I'm curious what they're going to be. I mean, Christmas is an, is the obvious one. And, the, and like, a Christmas one that's all done up will be fun. But what will the others be? Actually, if depending on how they've put out the updates, if they've done it far enough. One of them will be the final one, Pearl vs. Marina. Christmas. And... I don't know, it's hard to say what... I mean, there's Valentine's Day, but I don't know how... 
Is Valentine's Day a thing in Japan? Like just being like based on being based on Saint Valentine. I don't know what countries wouldn't would and wouldn't have Valentine's Day. Like Christmas is still yes a, a Christian thing, but even like non-Christian people in non-Christian countries like are aware of it and like celebrate it or have some like degree of it. I mean, it's been in Splatoon. Like they literally have Squidness. <laughs> they call they call it here um, in in this game. And I mean, there's also the fact that like they know that there's people who like there's Japan and then there's America and Australia together and then there's Europe and like they know that it's not just Japanese players play this game. So I don't know. Maybe maybe Valentine's Day. I'm just trying to think of other occasions that would be ones that were a special. It, assuming they're seasonal ones, they could just have a special one that's a big over the top one that has nothing to do with any like particular holiday. Honestly, I'm surprised that they've only just started. I mean, I, I figure like all of them being special ones, I can understand not doing that because if they're all special, then none of them are special. And like they've changed the logo for it and done up the plaza more special for it. And like that's all cool. I'm kind of surprised that um, Squid versus Octopus wasn't that as well. Oh my god, die! <laughs> that took embarrassingly too long to do. Uh. But um, yeah, surprise that Squid vs Octopus was the first one that was a special one. Maybe they didn't think of the idea, maybe they were just like, oh it's paid online, we should probably do it a little bit more special, because people get pissed off about having to pay for online now. I don't know. Ah. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's fucking awesome that they've done it. Like, I like the look, like, the change in the logo is fucking awesome. The plaza being done up, the fact that it's not, they've, like, they're not dressed up in new costumes, Pearl and Arena, but they're, like, they're more than just the team colour now. They're, like, revert, they basically switch their colours, but it makes Pearl have orange and black, it's awesome. So there's not that, it's own level of awesomeness. Ah, I'm just gonna... Fucking decimate you. Probably know who I needed to focus on for missiles, but I mean, I killed them, so I'm happy with it. Is that one behind us? So the direction that Storm was going looked like it was going backwards from our base. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, it, followed, it ended up following someone, so I didn't get the turf up there. But I got some of it down here. It was still new turf, so it's still fine. And seriously, they're not giving a shit to station, are they? <laughs> Yay! That gives us to Queen. Well, I'm gonna go back out, go to the recon, show off Shifty Station in that, and then we'll play one more match and see if we get. Holy shit, I got 11 that match? Fuck. Did not think I got 11. There we go. Trick Queen. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that I can just always wear my punk blacks and never take them off now. Unless I want to go to my Orca High Tops for Sub Saver. Can I even do recon for Shifty Station? I can! You can see how terrible this map is. And then we'll play one match and see if it comes up. So this is Shifty Sta this is the Shifty Station. Big wide thing here. We've got um, this little section here. Got a cute little Marina or Octoling there, I can't tell which one. So here is the start of the first lot of um, three, this one here. So you got this little part here, people constantly forget to ink it. I, okay, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back to the spawn point so I can actually jump on that instead of falling off. And there's multiple points where the only way to get up, but actually I think from here there's no way to get back up. I think where these rails are, there's no way to get back up from them. Like, once you're down from here, I don't know if you can get back up at all. And the only way to go is up onto that rail over there. But, so this is our first rail. That is what I mean. So this rail, this is fine. This goes over to here. So, that there is the middle of the map. Actually, uh, I was about to say, now looking at it, you might be able to jump there, but you can't even paint turf that. So that's the middle of the map. That box there is a dead center. Um, there's this over here. 
That's the back of the secret way. This just exists so you can deny them that because shooting these things doesn't actually make it decrease faster. It is stuck free. So, so here, I'm exposed to this team over here with these walls covering me. And then you go onto this one and then you go over here. Hi, I'm exposed again. And then you jump onto here and now you're in the middle. Or you can go down the side path, which is wee. And then there's another side path, which is that one there. And this is the whole sneaky path. Because this goes completely out of the way over here. Over to this side. To this. Which you can also get to this one by running down here. Oh, there's these things. I guess you can get back up. If you go all the way down here. So this is like your little battle zone here. And you can run all the way over to this side. To get up to this one. And then this is a way of sneaking up there. Without wall stopping you from getting hit there. But the only two paths up to this middle section are the end of this ink rail that leads to here and that that leads to here. Now, if you've got a team of like two or three people up here, it is very, very easy to keep a track of those two sides and see the people coming from a distance. From here, you can see them coming from way further, but it's to the side. Or this, where you see them go whoop, and then whoop, and it's just, it's so easy to hold this point up here. Because they have to come at you from those two sides, and it's just, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's so bad. Now, I'm going to go in and play one more match. Give me shifty stations in a match so I can show it off. Like, I feel like it is showing up so infrequently because they know it's not good. Because, <laughs> seriously, I should have seen it way the fuck more than three times. Way more, but... Uh... And if you do take that top point, because I had one match where it's just like, they completely decimated us, but just like, constantly trying to get over to them on there, but they're just killing us on the rail or as we're jumping off the rail. And then I had another match where I was up standing up there with one other person, shooting people as they were coming off the rail or just, like, or as they were on it. And it's just, no, nah, okay. They do not want to give us shifty station. They really do not. It's gonna, this is fucking so rough. Like, I feel like they've definitely, deliberately made it less likely on there. Whether it's because it sucks or not, I don't know. Whether they just thought, it's one stage for 48 hours. People will see it plenty of times. So we need to make it less likely because otherwise they'll see it too much in 48 hours because it's a longer splat first. But, um... Like, unless I actually have just been that unlucky. Because the stage sucks. No, that's unlucky. But I'd like to... I would have liked it at least once on camera to show off. Like, jeez. At least that. Fuck. Uh, ah, well, ah, uh, uh, ill, ill, <laughs> but just, yeah, like, I, I, I really like the Splatfest, the colours of orange and purple make the matches look really cool, like, I, these two, like, these two colours work really well together for a battle, I think, and it's great, and I love that part, and how much they've decked up everything is awesome, it's like, it feels even more special, even, like, for a Splatfest, it still feels special, the Shifty Station could do with some work. <laughs> like, Shifty Stations, in general, very much run the gamut of good and bad. Because, the, like, they're gimmick stages. They're always gimmick stages, because, well, because they're not going to be permanent, they can just... You guys are cunts. Like, seriously, like, really? Really? Is this why you have like the win streaks of team? Yes, yes it is. Part of the issue now with just playing in normal mode is in normal mode you can play like solo or with friends. You can definitely come up against groups of people, groups of people who are friends. But there's no way that you don't. There's no way you don't like. Friends and solo aren't mixed together. There's no way that's not. Because there's definitely times where you'll be fighting people who are clearly a group. Who are clearly working together. So you can go up against groups of people where it's just like, no, these people are talking to each other. Like that. 
Like, they were clearly working together to throw that many toxic mists and bombs to just pin us all down. There's no way they did. That means that we seem to have taken it somewhat aback. They haven't been at Al. They haven't been able to pin us down with that strategy as much again. Ah, damn it. Uh, that's a bad idea, but 10 seconds left. Uh, bad idea. Yeah! Fuck yeah, bad idea. Uh, I wouldn't have gotten there within the time limit anyway. Yay! But we lost. Uh, Splatterween! The real scary thing was playing on shifty stations. Well, at least it's on camera now. Not a battle on it, but it's on fucking camera. I'm seriously impressed that it never showed up. Ten kills! Can't say I didn't do my part for the team. I mean, you can, because I died a lot too. Which didn't help. Communication error? Like, after I got my clever, but before I got my experience and money for it? Fuck you. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, well, we're at 50,000 clouds, so I think that's alright. I, 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 I don't know. And it's also an indication of how many matches I played rather than how many I've won. <laughs> Yo, was that one that we saw when we were in the recon? Three drawed. What do we got here? Teammates, please stop standing in front of Splatling players. <laughs> Little Devil Hordes of Gay Culture. I very agree. Very hard agree. Halloween is the easy thing. I, I don't know. Treat yourself. Yes. 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 Stop the boo. Team treat is both sweet and salty. <laughs> uh, what do we got? What do we got? Yeah, just that one for Trevor. Yeah. You. Zombie and ghost. Actually, zombie and ghost can get it, yeah. Boo. Team trick. Booyah. Ha. <laughs> Booyah. Fuck yeah. Uh, there we go. Halloween. Oh. Uh. It's just a. I, I can't read that. Okay, culture. Ooh, I'm a ghost. What is that one? That's pretty good. One of the ones where I feel like they cheated, but... Team attack. Uh, up there. Okay. Okay. Team treat has buckets, though. Like, splat buckets. Buckets that they throw. Team treat! With the, the hat that I don't understand. Uh, a holiday where you can commit petty crime and get free candy. Yeah best one. Sim trick. Man, there's a lot. It's a lot of, um, good artwork. The artwork is always good in this. Look at this. Oh, shit. There's a plane. Plane destroyer going overhead. So, yo! This has been motherfucking Splatterween. Look at all the fucking decorations everywhere. Oh, this is cool. I love this shit. I love how they've, so much they've decked it up for this. I love it. And I love that they gave the, um, like the unique headwear and I've seen so many people who have been you've been playing who've been playing online who have been getting into the spirit and doing it properly and have been wearing either the horns or the hats um or the um hockey mask and stuff like that. No one wearing the anglerfish head. Didn't see I don't think I saw anyone wearing the anglerfish head. <laughs> but I appreciate how many people are wearing the hockey masks in the devil horn. Oh there you are! There you are. The person who drew it of the hat is wearing the angular head. Probably because you, you realize it felt left out. But with all the people wearing the headwear, it's like everyone, even dress sense wise, is getting into the spirit of things. Because everyone looks like a Halloween dress up with all that. And that, oh, it's been really good. I like how much they've done for this splat fest. Like dressing this up 48 hours, like giving them more unique clothing there. The unique headgear, it's really good. They've made Splatfest even better. Just in time for Splatfest to almost come to an end. Well, like another half a year or so. So, we'll cut back to when we find out the winner. I don't know if the winner... I think the winners for this are counted globally as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Because each region did start at their own individual times, so I don't know whether the results count individually or as a global. But we shall find out while these two dance out. Fuck yeah, Pearl, and your midnight Halloween colors. I love it. And we are back after the celebrations to see who wins. D 
detonating mailboxes or getting candy. And our big s celebration for Splatter Halloween. Splatfest results. Who's most popular? Bada bing, bada boom, bada booda, bada boom. Yay! We want popularity at least. And by a good margin too. How about them apples, Marina? Alright, the bar that matters. The clout. Who got the most clout in the matches? Or who had the percentage of all the overall clout between normal and pro? God damn it! How am I so bad at getting winners in this game? How am I so bad at this? How is it this consistent that I'm on the losing team? Fuck me. God, I'm glad they changed it so you're, it's, you're only missing out on three if you don't win instead of it being double. Sweet victory! Ah, get it? That's how you do it, Team Treat! You bribed little judge with candy, didn't you? <laughs> nope, Team Treat doesn't need cheap tricks to win. Ooh. But don't worry, pal. I've got just the thing for that sour attitude of yours. I had Sheldon modify my Tempted Missile Launcher to fire a giant candy corn! That just... That, that just doesn't even sound... Oh, you just said Halloween. I thought it was ha Splatterween in this universe. In universe. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Halloween and Splatterween are different things. And you just got a candy, ca candy corn missile launcher now? Show me this artwork. <laughs> Do it, you cowards. Doesn't drop fast enough. Maybe it's busted. Maybe it's because it keeps getting ink on it because people keep battling there. Maybe. A new shop opened here. Let's go this weekend. The new game comes out this weekend and I'm dying to play. What game comes out this weekend, Marina? I can't think of anything that comes out this week. All that Call of Duty and Red Dead and stuff. That already came out. What comes out this weekend, Marina? Boom! 21 Super Sea Snails. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we start it. That's how we start it, yo. Yeah. Alright. Well, on the next episode, um... There's new weapons coming fairly soon, um, like a month, uh, a month into November, no, like a week into, into November, um, because the new special, the giant fucking stamp thing, uh, will be there. So that'll be a thing, and, um, possibly in that video, possibly as a video after that, I'm definitely doing, um, ranked, uh, because I now have an actual proper set that's like, I have like multiple sets for ranked now, so, um, Maybe in that video, maybe in a video after. I want to do some ranked. So I want to get around to doing some goddamn freaking ranked. Um, I do some of that now, but I have so much other stuff to record, so I won't bother. So, on the next episode, giant stamps. Maybe an episode after that ranked. I'm not even sure. So, until then, this is version 2, being gay. And signing out.